morning Riverside and welcome to our first midweek vlog for our new series called Pray Like Jesus. And we kicked off this series by asking two questions. The first question is this, how would you describe your relationship with God at the moment? And the second question would be this, how would you like to describe your relationship with Jesus? In other words, is there a bit of a gap between where your relationship is and where you'd love your relationship to be? Now the solution to any relationship is time and conversation. And when it comes to things with God, we would call this prayer. Now not all of us would consider ourselves great master prayers. And we're not alone in this because the disciples, they used to observe Jesus praying. They noticed something different and vital in how he prayed. So one day they went up to him and said, Jesus, teach us to pray. This is the ultimate lesson of discipleship. This is Prayer 101 coming from Jesus, the master, the one who has a perfect relationship with God. And Jesus says this, this then is how you should pray. This then is how you should pray. And he starts off by giving us a perspective of adoration with the opening lines of what we would call the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who is in heaven. Our Father who is in heaven. And I believe Jesus is trying to stretch us in two directions. The one direction is Jesus is trying to get us to see our Father who is in heaven. And he continues to say, hallowed or holy is your name. In other words, Jesus is saying, you need to understand when you approach God, this is the God of heaven. This is the God of creation. This is the God who is all powerful and beyond and who is other and who is more glorious and infinitely more powerful than you could ever imagine. That's who you're approaching. But the opening words of the Lord's Prayer are our Father. So Jesus is trying to stretch us and see how big God is and see how closely God wants to relate to you. He wants to be a father to you. Now for some of us that means something quite formal, but the Bible goes to great length to try to get us to understand that our relationship with our Father in heaven is an informal one, one of daddy. And Jesus is trying to say, try and understand that God, the God of creation, this infinitely great and holy God, wants to relate to you as a daddy to one of his children. When we learn to adore our dad, when we learn to adore this creator God, it does a number of things. Number one, it really just enables us to bless the heart of the father. To give him honor and to give him glory. Bless his heart. It also, number two, raises our faith. Why? Because it doesn't matter what you want to bring to him in prayer. When you start realizing how great he is, how truly mighty and awesome he is, our faith is raised. Why? Because our vision of who God is, is infinitely increased. And number three, we learn to do this with joy. I just think of when I come home from work and my children run into my arms shouting, Daddy, it's a great joy for them and it's a great joy for me. So we learn to do this in joy. Now the challenge is to learn how to do this prayer of adoration. What I like to do is to open up my Bible and find whatever passage of scripture I'm reading or working through at the time and find those parts that say things about God and then learn to say those things to God. It's not enough just to know with my mind things about God. I need to say these things from my heart to God. You may want to open up the Psalms and find all those wonderful uh, things that David says about God and learn to say them to God. Because I've got a very short attention span when it comes to prayer, I like to get up. I like to walk around my room and I like to say these things out loud and passionately learn to say them from my heart. Also, don't forget the small things. We love the great characteristics of God and we love the great uh, words about God and we love the, the great things he has done and, and we love the miracles he has done in our life and we need to honor him for those things. But we also need to learn how to see God in the small things, paying attention during the day so that we can reflect all things back to him in honor. Guys, take this week to do this. Take this week to learn how to do this. Your faith will grow because your vision of who God is will grow. And you will begin to learn how to joyfully bless his heart. That's all from me, Riverside. Have a great week. From there.